Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. In this video we are going to take a closer look at a new stamp set from Miss Ink called B Bouquet and it's a really pretty image that I will color in using my Olo markers. You can see a couple of them here on screen. I will bring out a couple of more. I'm just here checking which markers I want to use. And you can see I put the lid there to the side. So you can see some of the colors that I used. I used a flicking motion and I went um, from the softest to the next one and so on until I had colored in my entire image. I will also go back and color in this image um, with an even darker marker later on. So I will actually use four Olo markers to color in uh, my flowers here. I will speed this up now so you don't have to see me coloring this in real time. Um, but I just wanted to mention that I'm actually, these images are quite, they are not large, but they are um, working perfectly for four markers. Here I have only used three markers and then I will go back in in a second here with the darkest marker. I just realized when I had colored in a couple of them that I didn't like how pale they were. So I went back in and just added that extra color just to make sure that they are really standing out uh, since this will be my focal image for my card. So you can see here, I just lift, lifted the image so you can see how everything looked when it was colored in and you can see all the layers. So here is that darkest layer that I'm going in with. And you can see how the image are really popping when that color gets in place. And I used a brown marker for my stems. I used in them in two shades. You could use more or less. These are pretty, pretty long so you could easily have used more than two markers for these. I just wanted to keep them quite uh, light so I didn't want to put down too much color and make them too dark and yeah you can see I'm just going over all the images here and you can see how everything is starting to come together I'm coloring in with a darker marker here and by the way if you haven't seen the Ola markers they are alcohol based markers and you can mix and match them how you like. I am using a brush nib for my, but you can choose chisel or a bullet. I believe they have a bullet tip as well. I'm a little unsure, but I know they have the chisel nib and you can mix and match them however you like. And yeah, they are really good markers. I have had them for soon six months and I'm slowly getting to know my colors and what I like and how to combine them. So yeah, these are really fun to play around with. I use some yellow for my centers and I also colored in the little beast there with two markers for each color and yeah, that pretty much finished off uh, those. Yeah, when I will be finished with all of this, I will use my scissors and uh, slowly fussy cutting around this entire image. I turn my paper and then the scissor will go nicely through the paper and around the image. At some points, I actually will use a knife, an exact knife just to cut in the middle sections of my flowers. You can see here the image is cut out. For my background, I will actually use um, like cream white card panel and I will combine it with a paper glaze buttercream from Picket Fan Studios. I'm just steering this around and I also will run it through this beautiful stencil called Perfect Plaid Stencil from Miss Ink. And then I will slowly and carefully lift this stencil because this is really liquidy. 
and when I let that dry, sorry about my phone there to the side, uh, when I let that dry I also went in with some uh, star, I believe it's called star stickles and I used it to all the centers of my flower bouquet here and I let that dry off camera and when all of my elements were dry I went in and put some liquid glue to the back of my panel that we used with the glitter and our bouquet I will raise up from the background with some foam dots and I paired it with a sentiment from an older set by the way all of the products that I'm using in this video will be linked down below and the sentiments just says thanks a bunch I'm <laughs> putting my camera light here so you can see the glare from all of that glitter I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time have a great day bye